Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your weekly reading for October 7th through 13th of 2020. Thank you so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and also, even though this is kind of like a weekly thing, it's still somewhat timeless. So again, as we as we continue doing these weekly readings, mainly you might want to focus on the uh, the title. And then I also invite you to check back the week after to see maybe how it resonated you resonated with you. Yeah. So before we get started, I just want to make one point. Um, I am moving to a sidereal astrology focus here on my channel. For, for the longest time, I have been straddling both tropical and sidereal astrology. Um, but now I've decided to focus on one because I've found in my personal experience that sidereal astrology really does resonate a lot more with me um, personally. So uh, I, I am making the choice to settle into a sidereal astrology. So, so you guys know moving forward, my focus and my readings and my channelings are going to be focused on sidereal placements, okay? Um, now, that doesn't mean that you absolutely have to follow that form of astrology in order to gain any sort of value from my readings here. Obviously, do what is best for you. Go with whatever it is you resonate with the most. Um, but I just wanted to make that clear. Keep that in mind, okay? Now, for these readings, they are designed to be viewed for sun, moon, and rising, of course, as always. However, I highly recommend that you focus more on your rising sign. So this is a video for Aquarius. This is most likely going to resonate the most with an Aquarius rising, okay? I've found that my rising sign, which is Leo in sidereal astrology, almost like nine times out of 10 resonates for me, <laughs> okay? So the reason why I'm doing this is because I have gained a sufficient amount of experience on my own to say, okay, this really resonates for me, so this is how we're gonna focus. Again, do what works best for you. If you still resonate more with tropical, then by all means, stick with tropical. But, I, but no matter, regardless of what system you use, I recommend that you focus on your rising sign first. Yes? Okay, excellent. So with all of that said, Aquarius, let's get into this. God, source creator, beings of love and light, angels, archangels, ascended masters, and spirit guides. Those who wish to aid in our ascension, our expansion, and cultivation of wisdom. We invite you into our space now, and we ask that you please provide us with the best messages for Aquarius for the week of October 7th through the 13th of 2020. We thank you so much for your presence. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. So this reading is developed um, in especially for weekly format, yes? I have a number of oracle cards and tarot here that we're going to get into. Um, so we're gonna start with the energy oracle deck. I'm gonna give this five shuffles here for you, Aquarius, and we're gonna see what your general theme for the week is. One. Two. for you this week. Your general theme. You have door to value and you have healer of the ages. Some of you may be awakening to your healing ability right now. You could be starting, working on starting, focusing on starting a healing practice or a healing business. Or some of you could be working with the Ascended Masters this week in order to heal poverty consciousness. Interesting. Let's look at what is crowning you right now, Aquarius, for this week using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Five shuffles. One. Two. 
Yeah, I feel very strongly, Aquarius, this is two, that you are going to be working on this week, you could be really working on healing some um, poverty consciousness or lack mentality issues. This is three. Working directly with the Ascended Masters for this. This is four. For some of you in some cases. And this is five. Others of you have healing practices put in place. Um, and that then uh, you're, I'm hearing you're going to be working together in this. All right, what's crowning you, Aquarius? What's your, I want to say, what's your motivation? Openness. All right, Aquarius, this is great. Um, this could have, ever, this actually could have a lot to do with the full moon we just had in Pisces. Uh, in terms of sidereal astrology, that the last full moon we just had in the beginning on October 1st, that was a full moon in Pisces, yes, um, in terms of sidereal astrology. But you have openness here, and it does have that full moon on there. And a full moon is actually a great time for you to release or work on releasing something. So Aquarius, this week, I feel like is totally oriented towards you working on releasing some sort of lack of mentality or poverty consciousness, or you could actually be the one helping others to release this for themselves. Let's get into the Oracle of the Angels and see what is driving you, what is grounding you, what is rooting you this week. Four shuffles. One. No. Oh, no. Actually, there it is right there. Opportunity. Aha! Aha! All right. Aquarius, I really do feel like this is most strongly for those of you that are working through some sort of lack of mentality or poverty consciousness. Um, you're taking, you are taking the opportunity that here to heal. Opportunity is rooted within you. I really do feel like you, you recognize this opportunity and you're taking it seriously this time. That's what I just heard. Let's get into the tarot here. We're going to see, we're going to this, get, I'm going to give this five shuffles and I'm going to pull two timelines here with one common denominator. You could either be, you could walk, be walking either timeline, timeline A, timeline B, path A, path B, or this could be surrounding energies for you throughout this week, uh, a story or a timeline for you throughout this week with one common denominator, okay? Uh, yes, let's get into this. Five shuffles for you, Aquarius. One. Two. The devil did just catch my attention, um, but I, you're releasing these attachments is what I'm, literally, specifically what I'm hearing, Aquarius. You are releasing these attachments to devil energy. Path A, Two of Wands. Very interesting. This Two of Wands, this is like the third time the Two of Wands has come out um, in this position. The Lovers. The Tower. Path B. Knight of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, common denominator, the moon. Yes, indeed, Aquarius. Overall energy, you got the Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. So I really do, I, I, I really do feel like the full moon we just had in Pisces is really helping you do this. I feel like, because because as of right now, we are in the post- uh, full moon period, right? The post full moon phase. And so there's a lot of clearing and uh, clearing energy that's happening for you. Now with this full moon having been in Pisces, again, of course, in terms of sidereal astrology, with this full moon having been in Pisces, this is really allowing you to get to the deepest, deepest depths of yourself. To really take stock. I keep hearing poverty consciousness. We don't have the five of pentacles here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. The message is still coming through. The message is still clear. However, you do have the door to value here, which would represent, which could represent some sort of lack mentality or poverty consciousness. 
in terms of money. Big, big choice. Big, big choice here between the Two of Wands and the Lovers. Okay, Aquarius. The Two of Wands and the Lovers here. To bring down the tower. Again, I'm hearing lack of mentality, poverty consciousness. This has been something that has been long standing for you for a very, very long, I mean, a very long time, duh, long standing. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> but then moving forward here, Knight of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Wands. Interestingly enough, Aquarius, all of the readings that I have done for, uh, for today, Wednesdays are Libra, Virgo, and Aquarius days. All three of your readings have been a, basically a, t a timeline, a story, instead of two separate paths. Very interesting. But Aquarius, I see you fighting, fighting back against this lack mentality or this poverty consciousness, moving forward with the Knight of Pentacles to rebuild and then gaining strength and gaining confidence in yourself in the King of Wands. The moon here representing illuminating the truth. Secrets revealed. Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. With the Six of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. Greater balance. Ah, yes, with the Fool. Taking a leap of faith. Soul searching. The Hanged Man. Uh, I'm sorry, the Hermit. And finally, oh my God, the Hanged Man. Not finally. To the Sun. Good Lord, Aquarius. To the Empress. Wow, Aquarius. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. I love this. Going from darkness, the moon, to light. So the moon here, the common denominator, is really illuminating. Illuminating enough, or secrets, or something is being revealed enough in order for you to make this decision. Two of Wands, the Lovers, and the Tower. This is really strong for you, Aquarius. I love this. I love this. Look. Finding victory in the Ten of Cups. And what I feel like the Ten of Cups is representing for you, what representing for you here, Aquarius, is you understanding what is where, uh, having a greater understanding of where your emotional fulfillment is going to lie. Ten of Cups to the Six of Wands. Finally understanding what would really be emotionally fulfilling for you. Thus, bringing greater balance into your life. Allowing you to take a leap of faith, or I just heard to feel strong enough to take a leap of faith, to dive deeper into yourself, to understand, to go soul searching. Where does this lack mentality, this poverty consciousness come from? Understanding your true depths, full moon, openness, being open to your fullest depths here. Taking the opportunity to be open, the, the, the opportunity that you have at hand to be open to your fullest depths, to revealing parts of yourself that maybe you've never seen before. Under, I just heard understanding who you truly are within, taking that leap of faith. Look at all of this major arcana. Taking that leap of faith to change your perspective, to bring greater illumination and awareness to yourself, to then, to then be open to abundance. The Empress. Look at all of this major arcana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Hermit, the Fool, the Hanged Man, the Sun, the Empress, the Moon, the Lovers, the Tower. I mean, Aquarius, this is big. This is really, really big. Finally, with the Page of Wands and the Knight. And the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Re-identifying yourself to bring greater satisfaction into the equation. Aquarius, I love this. We're going we're gonna to dive a little deeper. I mean, do we really need to dive deeper? Not necessarily. Yes, we do. I'm going to get one more shuffle. I mean, all of this is pretty self-explanatory. I, I don't think I need to clarify everything. But what I do want to clarify here, I want to look into the moon first. Well, let's look into the moon. Wow. You have the passionate, vibrant, strong woman. The snake. And the host, the house, the home. Um, 
So interest, interesting, Aquarius. The snake is representing this power, this 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 lack of mentality, this poverty consciousness, or however, how whatever that means for you. This feelings, these feelings of lack, or even feelings of inadequacy. All right, this doesn't just have to be about money. Lack of self confidence, fear of oneself, fear of allowing oneself to be oneself. But you're coming into this powerful, passionate energy here. This very strong energy. I mean, like powerful. This this could I mean this this is this doesn't have to have to do with uh, gender. This could represent your own inner femininity. You Aquarius could really be in a process here or in an energy of accepting and integrating with your own inner feminine energy, which is beautiful. But that's what's really going to give you the source of your internal power. The feminine is the source of raw creative power. The masculine then takes that power and shapes it, helps to manifest it, helps to direct it. And you getting in contact with your inner femininity, Aquarius, is going to give you a strong sense of inner power and abundance, the empress. Now the snake in the grass, the poisonous venom, has been your tool, your teacher, your guide. So even though the snake is here, understand what the snake also represents. Yes, it can it can represent um, sneaky, poisonous, destructive energy, but it also can represent wisdom. And I really feel like Aquarius, with this moon energy, you're taking the negativity that was the source of your unhappiness, and now making it the source of your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and thus you have a greater home or within yourself, greater stability within yourself, the home. You have a greater structure to live in, to reside in. I mean, this could even mean you're getting a new home or a, a home improvement or something like that, ultimately. Let's look at the tower. The tree of life, beautiful, life experience, soul experience, reaching a new soul level with the mask at the bottom of the deck, releasing the mask, releasing the fear of being who you truly are, releasing the fear of yourself. I feel like for some of you, this lack mentality, this lack of abundance was because you were afraid of who you truly are, or you were afraid of what is truly meant to be here in life what life really truly is, which is just a, a series of events and, and lessons and, and, and experiences that only help you grow, only help you develop throughout this tree of life, through, throughout your soul's existence. I feel like this is a major level up for a lot of you here. A major level up. Let's talk about this Knight of Swords real quick. Well, the storks actually landed on the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the, the Knight of Swords, please. Ah, okay. There it is. It's the mask. Releasing, cutting away the mask, cutting away everything that is illusion. Aggressively, which is okay. It's okay, because at this point, this energy is kind of needed. The Knight of Pentacles is bringing you the stork, which is bringing you new life, birth rebirth even, a sense of family, a sense of community, a sense of openness. Let's look at the lovers. Clocks, time. Change is what I'm getting with the lovers and the clock. Change. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things. Sorry. <laughs> but no, the time has come. It's almost as if I'm getting an image or a feeling of like the cake has been baked. The cake is ready to come out of the oven. You've experienced enough of this. Time has gone on enough. You've experienced enough of this now for you to be able to sufficiently make this decision and step into your King of Wands power. What is this King of Wands energy? Okay. 
you have the man and the mountain. The mountain can represent the path, the path least traveled. The mountain can also represent reaching the peak, having climbed the mountain and now seeing things from a much higher point of view. And actually Aquarius, I feel like there is a lot of compassion that you have involved with this. Passion and compassion. You've really climbed the mountain. You've really done this. You really did this, Aquarius. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. This is great. This is such a great energy for you this week, Aquarius. I really love this for you. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next, for your next reading for the next week. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.